Mm -hmm. So you want to move to America. So you probably have many questions and those questions probably like how to get into US with a VLSI career. What are the opportunities there compared to India? What are the pros? What are the cons of shifting to US? And many other questions. And the best thing is that today's guest is a perfect person to ask those questions because he's already been there from decades. If this topic excites you, please like this video and let's get started. So you are in the US and from India, a lot of want to move to US to explore the thing or to live the lifestyle of uh, those countries. So my question is that how to pursue VLSI or any electronics job from abroad? Like what are the opportunity we have from India? You, you can come to India in many ways, right? So mm -hmm. uh, of course, um, you can come here to study bachelor's or higher studies, do your PhD, etc. right? So you can apply to universities and come. That's one way to do it, right? Then uh, you can come the way I came because I was working overseas and then uh, uh, I started applying to companies and then companies find a match, then they interview and then they sponsor you for a work visa and you come here and eventually you apply for, uh, you know, permanent residency and if you deserve so you can, you know, after several years, you can, uh, you know, if you desire, you can become a citizen of the United States and go through that process, right? So that's one way, right? Come for a work visa, right? Uh, either directly applying online to a company, getting interviewed and come here. There are also companies like um, multinational companies that uh, has branches here and elsewhere in the world. So start working for a multinational and eventually move with them to different places in the world. That's another third option. A fourth one I would add, there are also companies in India that do consultancy work or subcontracting work for uh, companies work, who work overseas. So they will have offshore projects, onshore projects. So if you start working in any of those also, they will send you overseas. And eventually mm. you can work in their overseas branch or eventually after uh, you know you interview with another company and move with them and uh, get a visa to move over with your uh, get an employment permit to move over with them right so those are all possible so I, I think to summarize there are maybe four different ways right so one is come here for higher studies number two you start working in India and then apply to work in overseas companies number three you, you start working in India for multinational companies and eventually move within them Number four, work in multinational, Indian multinational companies who work with the other multinationals who are overseas branches and move with them, right? So those are the four things I could uh, think of. So what thing we will miss, like if we don't explore this option, like going to US or abroad for our job? I want to turn around the question and tell uh, what I am missing right now is uh, all the variety of food in India, uh, meeting my friends in India, being with mm -hmm. my family in India, being in my hometown and home and hometown in India, etc. Right, so I miss that a lot. So that's what I could say. And uh, while you are in India and uh, you you enjoy all that, right? So you ask me a question, I'm kind of giving you the answer on the the negative of that. But so everything has pros and cons. If I did not come to the US for work, maybe I would have never visited the US, right? So. I can only tell you what I am missing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and if we talk about like career growth in US and India, then how it would be? Like, can we grow as much as we can grow in US also? I, I do not know what I mean is if there is a difference between the US and in India, because we are in a global economy today. You know, many Indian companies operate in the US, many US companies operate in India. Uh, both are growing economies so, uh, and we are all working remotely now. We are all collaborating worldwide. So I think both countries present uh, you know, equal growth opportunities. So I don't think uh, being in India limits you or being in the US actually propels you or there are limitations in the US versus India. I, uh, I haven't seen that. You know, every culture, every geography has its own benefits and uh, its own troubles, right? So you should be able to navigate both of those. And if we talk about something good about US, like 
for how life changed when you moved from India to US? Like if you uh, recall your initial days in the US. Good question, right? So when you move to from one country to another, right? So obviously you are in a new environment and it will take uh, several months for you to get uh, adjust to the new environment, right? So you have to learn the new methods of doing things, the new way of driving, because the way of driving in India is different from here, right? So everything changes. So you you will be having a lot of new things to learn, new things to become familiar, and it will take years to do that, right? There are things about the US I am still learning, which I, I don't know about, right? So probably my children know much more about the US than what I know, because I came as an immigrant and they were born here. And there are many things that I don't know about India nowadays when I visit India. Uh, I know my friends, but I don't know all the people who are around me today. It all depends, you know. So where you live becomes your home. And uh, maybe your home is there taking somewhere else, but uh, they don't see you. Then yeah. there you become a visitor, right? So those are deep philosophical questions that uh, probably goes beyond my capability to answer. Right? So, you know. I don't meditate like you do, Dad Steve. So you are more qualified to answer those questions. <laughs> so, like we are at the last of uh, this amazing talk, and uh, last I want to take one opportunity, and that is you should give us some some golden mantra for this fresh generation. Do what uh, makes you happy. Do what makes the people around you happy, and uh, you know never uh, dilute your principles and uh, be flexible to adapt whatever comes your way. You know, mm-hmm. keep moving forward and utilize your time wisely. People will remember you for doing the right thing at the right time. So don't forget to follow Anil, link in the description. So it was a great session. And on behalf of all of my audience, I would love to thank Anil for giving his precious time with us. See you in the next video.